Radio. All right, hey, what's going on? And welcome back to another episode of the Loader Radio podcast. And I'm your host, Scott Penfold. And uh, buckle up because we've got uh, a legendary band with a pretty heavy reunion story on tap for you today. Okay, Drowning Pool really needs no introduction. Their debut album, Sinner, went platinum in just six weeks, and their anthem, Bodies, just dominated MTV. Um, They rocked WrestleMania and OzFest, but uh, tragedy did strike the band back in 2002 with the passing of their iconic frontman, Dave Williams. However, Drowning Pool persevered, and the music never died. Now fast forward to 2023, and a familiar face has actually returned to the fold, and that would be powerhouse vocalist Ryan McCombs. That's right, McCombs who fronted Drowning Pool from 2005 to 2011. He's back behind the mic, just tearing up stages alongside guitarist CJ Pierce, bassist Stevie Benton, and drummer Mike Luce. Now I'm being joined by CJ Pierce and Ryan McCombs on the podcast this week, and we're going to talk about the epic reunion, what it's like to share the stage again, and of course, all things Drowning Pool. But before we get into that, don't forget, I've got to remind you, check out LoadedRadio.com for all your hard rock and metal news constantly updated as well. The 24-hour live radio station playing nothing but hard rock and metal with live DJs and specialty shows and big name interviews as well. You can get past episodes of this very podcast at LoadedRadio.com and you can download the free Loaded Radio app where you get all that cool stuff right to your device or uh, your tablet or whatever you dig, okay? So uh, crank up the volume and get ready now. I know CJ is joining me already. Ryan has not joined us as of yet, um, but uh, CJ Pierce from Drowning Pool here on the Loaded Radio podcast. Uh, how you doing, man? CJ, what's going on? Well, I'll answer your questions now until he goes inside and calls you. That sounds good. Let's do that. I'll do our man. Ryan's questions. So I was, so I was born, I was born in Muncie, Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> and um, <laughs> I'm so happy to be back with Drowning Pool. I just here. I'm, I'm trying to do the tone. I'm so happy. Blah, blah, blah. No, that's not how he talks. I guess for you, CJ, I, I mean, being who you are in the band and being really being the heartbeat of the band, what, what, uh, what, t- tell us about the decision to have Ryan return as vocalist in, uh, in 2023. Like what really prompted the decision there? Now we had a, you know, we had a nice long run with, um, you know, with Jason Moreno, we did 10 years with him and we had three records. I just think coming out of COVID, not just for us, but for a lot of bands, um, you know, Jason has a big family, a lot of stuff going on there. And we can tell that, you know, he kind of was to that place where he needed to be home. And for us, you know, at first, you know, the decision was like, man, we're not going to get any more singers. We're going to start three piece stuff. So we started singing shows as a three piece. I'm not sure how many for that, but uh, we had a lot of festivals coming up and great shows at the beginning of 2023. And, um, and the main one being, you know, we played with Pantera last year, May 5th. It was the first show in the States because they did a bunch of overseas festivals. And it was, you know, Stevie, our bass player was like, well, you know, when we get together with Ryan again, have some reunion shows and do these big festivals with them. But uh, the second, you know, Ryan walked back in, man, it's like we didn't skip a beat, you know, started writing songs together again. We started having this great, we just, the ball's been rolling since. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm very happy that the earth, you know, <laughs> I mean, here we are, you know, 12, 13 years later, we're all, you know, different people, a little bit, a little bit, maybe a little bit wiser. I'm not sure about that yet, but uh, we're definitely having a lot, a lot of fun with it, man. That's what it's all about. Playing with Tantara must have been like mind blowing. That must have been like a, definitely a highlight of the career thus far. Bro. Oh, <laughs> it was so great. You know, we, we were friends with them. Uh, we were very fortunate to become friends with them in, 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 in the nineties and um, we did some shows, you know, damage plan with, with diamond Vinny, but we never, you know, at that time, Pantera wasn't doing anything. And unfortunately, you know, diamond later on with Vinny, but I, man, you know, Zach was doing a great job. Charlie's doing a great job. I love what they're doing. The show is, it's very tasteful to have a nice piece in, in the middle for, for the Abbott brothers. And to me, they're doing it right. And, you know, I, I sat down with Zach and we had that conversation, man. It was like, you know, it's, uh, Nobody's going to be dying, but Ryan's going inside now and he'll call you and he'll tell you the stories too, man. He's got the answers. There was new music sort of hinted at toward the end of last year, but it didn't happen. Uh, what, what happened there? Um, we just got done recording um, in Vegas uh, about two weeks ago and it's getting mixed right now. So we do have three new ideas that we can't wait to get out. We're hoping to get them out here summertime, you know, shooting for like June 15th and all, but things just take a little extra time between touring schedule and life and family. It just, you know, it, and plus, you know, we're not trying to rush anything. We're like, we're taking our time and, and writing what we feel and, and, and making sure it's, it's, you know, good to go for everybody to hear it. So it's, it's right there, man. It's just pretty much just about done. Badass. Now, now where in Vegas were you recording? Was it, was the hideout you were guys recording at or? Um, no, so brother Sean McGee, he has his own studio. Uh, we did the last record with him as well. We did on um, Strike a Nerve and it's just a great guy to work with. He's the same page as us and a great friend, a great musician, uh, a killer producer and, mixer so um yeah we love working with sean it's 
been uh he really knows how to recapture what we're trying to do man that, that's what the kind of producer you want you know we put him in the driver's seat and somebody you can trust to have that outside ear um yeah. to, to take what we have already and elevate it so it's it's i'm excited man we we're super excited man i was hoping to get out sooner but you know right place and right time for everything and it's it's right there man it's almost done well, what can fans expect so, from this new music in terms of, you know, the upcoming stuff from Johnny Pool? I mean, is, is it got that old familiarity to it? It's, there, it's, or is it something new? It's, or? Equal, it's equal to or heavier than bodies. I can tell you the first one because, it again, it just came out naturally. We just started writing. We're all excited to be together again. And um, it's it, we never tried to be that kind of band to, to like, okay, that's, that's you know, write a bodies part two or your single part two. We just write what we feel, man. And and this came out naturally just to have that, you know, that, that centered uh record foundation with why i'm singing on it man it's probably the closest thing we've had um that's like that that's a good blend of, of us with ryan and, and, and stuff from like the dave williams days man and it, it came it came naturally and organically and dude it's it's slamming dude it's i'm excited to be playing these new songs come up here shortly within the next few weeks circle back to that like having ryan step back in i mean it must have been just like it's that familiarity and it was is there again right yeah it yeah. was there like that and then some man because you know we're all you know different people and, and getting to, to know you know the, all of the, us you know the new us um new and improved hopefully <laughs> right <laughs> new and improved <laughs> drown pool baby and uh that, but then you, know, you can see like you know that's a lot of thing about people that have seen us in the past and, and like we just did the rockfield festival we have um a few other danny women coming up we have sonic temple on thursday and and just to see friends say that because you know it's still like people are just now seeing us with ryan again and it just you know you, they can just like on stage and we're like, man, I can just tell you guys are having so much fun with it. It's awesome to see you guys, you know, you can tell when the band's up there doing it for real. And there's no going through motions with us. Man. We're having fun with it. We were talking about, of course, how he's back to the band. You get the new stuff that's coming out and you're working on it in Vegas. Uh, what inspires your right. songwriting process really? I mean, how do you collaborate with the other band members to create new material for Drowning Pool? Man, it comes from all kinds of places. Um, I guess, like I said, mainly this past year, just all of us excited again to be working on and writing music together. Um, the thing that's always inspired me in the past, um, and it's that awesome that we're touring again on the regular. So, you know, being on tour and you get off stage and have this energy and that just that adrenaline rush. So, um, a lot of times I'll come up with raw ideas and things like that on the road from, you know, the experience with fans and the, and the rock show. And then I put that together as a song when I get home. So we've been kind of down a lot, you know, coming off COVID, we didn't have a lot of shows after that. And then, you know, once Ryan came on, back in the fold man and like i said we just got excited again um so there's stuff you know pieces parts from that mindset there's stuff that just right there on the fly just face to face you're like you just start jamming you know it's nice to get in the room with the drummer mike and he just starts he just starts blasting on his drum and you just start rocking it it comes like that and there's other times too you know when there's you know something happened there's been a lot that has happened in all of our lives in the last 12 13 years there's a lot of uh, sure. things to write about content um but that alone that that starts with on the lyric side of things and then we build music around it so we kind of hit it at all different angles really um as far as inspiration goes it's not really just one set type of formula man we just we you know we always go with the flow there's one question i've always wanted to ask you i thought if i ever meet cj is one thing i do gotta ask him and it's like how do you feel or how does the band feel about the track bodies being used actually by like as a torture device by the u.s military when that happened like how do you guys feel about that you know i've heard the song i use it in, in several different situations where i see sometimes it's a positive light sometimes it's a negative light it's pretty wild how they the, the song has been asked to be used, whether it's commercials or, or like in movies or soundtracks or, um, or a system racing like that. I mean, I wasn't there. Nobody asked me for my approval on that, that, that thing. I mean, me personally, I think it's a different outlook for everybody in the band personally. I mean, I, you know, I mean, it's hard for me to fathom that because I like metal. So if I'm listening, if I was stuck like on an yeah. island and I just had tool playing for the rest of my life, I wouldn't, that's not torture to me, man. Or like Pantera over and over again. I'm fine I would dig that, it, so dude. I, personally, I'd love it. <laughs> you know? So, like, oh, I'm good if I had to listen, to, even if I had to listen to Bodies over again. Like, I love playing the song. Like, a lot of bands get weird about playing their well-known track, and and for us, man, I look forward to playing Bodies every night. You know, everybody's gonna go ape shit nuts. So, so yeah, I, yeah it's it's not torturing me. So, I, you know, I, I don't know how people just. I think it's just news and try to blow stuff up and, and use anything they can to, to write, try to write articles. I, I'd rather not be us. We'd rather not be associated in a, in a negative light. But um, on the positive side, of thing. I mean, war is war, and and, and it's terrible. And it sucks, but we. Um, you know, we sit here and support our troops and the family um, for um, the love and support of, you know, men and women that are away from their families and have to do their job. Not so much a warmongering type band where it's like, go kill them type situation. Yeah. It's more, you know, we're more on the personal side of things. Like we went to Poland this past year to play for troops that couldn't be home for the holidays. So our ladies, our wives, families were cool for us to miss the holidays. I miss our daughter's three year old birthday. I miss Christmas. But, you know, we were over there playing for troops of uh, young men and women who were away from their family for like a year or two on a base and brought a piece of home to them 
through music. And that, that's, that's, you know, that's what we do when it comes down to that with military. And you know what, what really matters too is your audience. And like you said, when you break into that track, you know, when you're playing that song live and you see that reaction, I mean, they must go nuts. I mean, that, that that's what, that's what matters, right, dude? You know, man, we just fight with the rock and roll, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's been, the career's up and down and it's been a minute since we got back on like the big festival circuit, just from life and COVID and, and, and whatever. But here we are now, man, and see those massive pits, especially, uh, you know, we had one in San Antonio a while back where there was two different pits going on and you can see them coming together and right when we went to bodies it just turned into this massive freaking hurricane tornado and it was just <laughs> amazing to see that and just a dust cloud is insane you know it's it's uh you know it's an awesome feeling man it's, it's we're fortunate and, and grateful and thankful that we still get to do this now looking ahead uh for yourself personally what are some of your aspirations for drowning pool i mean you're back in a big way you're hitting it hard dude uh, both musically and um, you know as a band like what, what are some of the aspirations going on yeah, the stuff that we have coming up now, we you know we're coming up on the 25 year anniversary of the Center Record. Um, it's 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 two years wow. away today. Today wow. is um the 23 anniversary of when Bodies was released um to radio, and we just did a bunch of um, wow. We did the um the um the videos and stuff is all in high def, and I, I need to post that out, get that out there today. But you, you're hearing it first. Um, we have a, a bunch of show dates uh, June and July that got announced today. Um, we're gonna keep rolling with Ryan. We're gonna put put out a couple um singles and a couple songs. We're not focusing on a new record fully yet with Ryan. Um, we did. 17 song acoustic shows in Poland. And we did talk about having an acoustic record at some point. There's some deep tracks on the few records we did with Ryan that we kind of reattacked some of these songs and it brought more life to them that we want to do. Um, and then like get everything out. We put a lot of stuff together for a 20 year center anniversary that didn't happen during COVID. So we have all this material. I want to give Dave Williams, you know, the proper respect and love and get all that out for the 25 year anniversary. So we're kind of geared up towards that. There's a lot of fun, special things we want to do with that and, and have a full, you know, center, Plus show, it's going to be songs off the record and songs we did with Dave on the side. But um, so a lot of things happen, dude. Yeah, a lot of things happen. Yeah, and uh, you know, and, be, and being the band that I mean, and looking back at your history, there has been some tragedy, of course, but there's been so many great high moments as well for the band. Do you find that uh, you you know, and some other bands have gone through this, and it's worked out for some other ones, some some it hasn't. That you know, changing a vocalist, right. moving forward with the vocalist, have you found that that has been something that is overly challenging, or something that has just sort of just worked for you? Like do, um, do, it, 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 it has been. It, yeah. It's uh, you know, it's been quite the roller coaster ride. I would say that my life has been very full, even though we didn't want it to be that full. <laughs> sure. <laughs> of the ups and downs. I mean, I, it's it's definitely you know, um, it's a strategy for any band that, that loses any band member, and especially with us, you know, two thousand and two losing losing Dave Williams from cardiomyopathy, had heart disease, yeah. no other, nothing else. You can look that up. A drug over there. So he had heart disease. He passed yeah. away at thirty. It's not a common with cardiomyopathy. Uh, my ex brother in law had died at thirty from the same exact thing. It's um. So that's what it was. Uh, and overcome that, you know, we did a great record with Desensitized, which is on its 20 year anniversary right now. It's amazing. But I wasn't, you know, when Brian came in on um, 2005, 2006, when we got rolling with him, we were really made the sense. Uh, we had two great records with him. And we always had a great writing relationship. Um, it's awesome that he's back in the band. You know, we're going to take a little break. I didn't know it was going to be like a 12 year break. <laughs> two years, two months, 12 years, who's counting? We're here now. Um, yeah. So, but, you know, you could just, I mean, dude, you know, we always give a hats off today, but we're still moving forward. I mean, you know, everyday life experience, something else happens to you, you know, there's something else to write a song about. Um, so we're keeping it rolling, man. We love playing live. It's Ryan. Find it. Yeah. How hey, you doing, man? I'm doing all right. I'm late to the party, as always. It's fashionably late, right? <laughs> fashionably late, man. You're looking good. You came in at just the right time because, you know, it was, I was actually asking CJ about um, how your involvement with Soil. I mean, Soil dropped a new, uh, they dropped Restoration last year. Um, do, do you find that there's a bit of a conflict? Is it difficult to holding on to both projects right now? Is it, is it a lot for you? Yeah, everybody makes it easy. I mean, everybody makes it as, as easy as possible. I mean, the bands, all the two bands, you know, they get along. Yeah, so there's no like animosity or no like, like, anybody worried about anybody else what they what anybody's doing man we've we've all been there done that so we just everybody works well together and and uh it's been good it's i mean i get a little worn to be honest with you but it's it's like i go every once in a while i got slowed down i go man where, how did i think this was a good idea but uh but that was <laughs> that's just on those 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 days when the, the voice is a little worn out I yeah he understand. stopped singing in the shower now because he sings with both bands all the time but just strong voice has never been stronger <laughs> well, I only let's be honest. Though, I I only I still sing in the shower. But that's only when CJ's with me. 
<laughs> <Exactly. Well>, the- <laughs> <laughs> you're still singing to me in the shower, but not anybody else because you got to save the right. voice for the solar show and the right. Right. show. A deep look into drowning pool here, folks. This is a wonderful <laughs> thing, you know. I'm telling you. <laughs> um, uh, Ryan, um, you returned to drowning pool, of course. I, I mean, I spoke to CJ about this already, but uh, what prompted you as the vocalist to come back and say this is uh, something I'm going to come back to? It, it was a no brainer for me. Um, I still, when, when, uh, when Stevie was the first one that kind of reached out to me and, uh, if, if I'm remembering correctly and, uh, it was, it was kind of funny because Steve, Stevie is Texas, Steve. Like if you look up Texas, like a Texas man, uh, in the dictionary, you will, you will, t- there's Stevie's pictures there. He, he is Texas through and through. And, yeah. and, and this aspect, what I mean by that is te- Stevie's not, not, not one for a small talk. He, he's always very to the point and everything. And, uh, he, through the years, he and I kept in contact here and there, talk about like football stuff and everything. But all of a sudden, one evening, he kind of hit me up, and we're going back and forth for like an hour and a half, and it's just small talk. And I'm like, man, this is weird. This this is not <laughs> this is not like Stevie. And finally, I was like, man, is everything all right? Stevie's like, yeah, everything's great, everything's wonderful. And then there was a pause, and he wrote back and says, man, what do you think about doing like some reunion shows? And I was like, without even there was no pause. I was just like, yeah. I mean, I miss playing with these guys. I've missed playing with these guys. I mean, we were supposed to take a, a CJ and I spoke. What was what, what last time we spoke way back in the day? It was like talking about like taking a little break. You know, we, we were thinking about a few months, maybe even a couple yeah. months, whatever. Yeah, CJ was saying, 12, yeah. 13, yeah, 12, 13 years later, all of a sudden, it's like, hey, that, that was unexpected. <laughs> we, can't, so, we never learn to read. I don't know how to read a watch. Right, right, right. <laughs> the, uh, Louisiana, Texas, Indiana school system, sorry. But the, um, no, it's, it's it was a no brainer for me. So I was like, yeah, absolutely. And then, uh, and then I quickly texted my wife to make sure it was okay. Um, and then uh, smart man, smart man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, um, and like a day or two later, I, I was talking to the gentleman that was man- managing them at the time, and it it went from doing a couple of reunion shows to you know you're back in the band. You know, it's you you four are back together again. So it was like, all right, cool. And it's just been a whirlwind since. And, you know, there's something I also asked CJ a bit earlier, too, was, I mean, how does it feel to be back in that collective after, you know, it, it was a significant time away. How does it feel to be back? Does it feel like there's been some changes or does it feel like, you know, it's old hat? I think, it, I mean, it's, it's kind of both sides of that right there. There's there's uh, there's a little bit of both. Um, it's definitely old hat in the aspect like that. That first day that we got together uh, for rehearsal, because literally we had this conversation then all of a sudden like we had shows like in two weeks or something like that so it was a very short period of time so it was short than that i don't know but it, it was like very quickly we had shows so it was like we got together in texas uh jammed the tunes and it was weird because there had been years and we're talking years a decade plus in between the last time we'd walked into a room together to, to jam and uh it was just like we didn't miss a beat it was just it was very cool very comfortable um on the other side of that yeah i mean everybody's grown everybody's grown not that anybody needed to but everybody just that natural growth that every person takes on in a, in a decade's worth of time you know and, and one thing i think that we've all done is that we've we've all gotten a little bit smarter about the business and we've all gotten a lot smarter about paying attention and handling and fretting about the things that we could control and letting go of the crap that we cannot, you know, mm-hmm. back in the day, man, every little thing would piss you off and get you irritated and you would take it onto the bus and you take it onto the stage with you because you were irritated about this part of the business or that part of the, uh, of what you're dealing with in, in any part in time with the, with the industry or whatever. Whereas nowadays we're all a lot wiser about the fact that there's some of that crap you can't do anything about. So quit carrying it with you, you know, and we, we've all gotten a lot better about that. We've all gotten a lot better about just just uh, just dealing with what we can and knowing the difference between it and what we can't. Yeah, yeah communication's yeah. been better than ever, man. Communication's been the best. That's what it's all about. And CJ, since I got you, this is something I, that I, 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 I do want to ask you both first, you on this one, is, I mean, Drowning Pool, I mean, you guys have such a rich history and you guys have such a dedicated fan base, man. Like, your fans are dedicated how do you approach performing the band's classic songs with incorporating the new stuff in live sets? Like, uh, how do you, how do you build your set list when it comes to, you know, I'm trying to appease this mass of fans. Man, it's been wild. And it's been fun in, in this situation because we've, you know, Ryan, you know, we did a lot of, 
we did two records with Ryan. We had a lot of great radio success with those songs. There's, there's other records we put out, and Ryan's, you know, staying on those as well, especially the center record. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we've always, you know, we're always trying to, you know, whenever we can, refresh the set list and add something to it. We do have stuff in the works that we're going to add a change out or, or rotate. Um, but even with that, even if we walk on stage with a set set list, I will tell you this, every single night, we may not be playing that. We might play this. I don't know what's going on. I'll go up there, I see Mike and see with the drummer. I say, hey, let's play this song. Oh, okay, that one. So even on the fly, if there's a fan out there that says, hey, I want to hear Enemy, then we play Enemy. Like, like somebody the other night was like, hey, play Soldier. So we played it. So we're huh. that kind of band too. We're kind of Grateful Dead-ish in the sense that we don't <laughs> want to have a set thing programmed to this and that. Like we go up there organically and we play whatever. We play as a loosely based set list of like, you know, you can hear Sinner, Tear Away Bodies, of course. And But um, but the rest of it kind of, you know, it. You know, I like it. It's exciting. We, we just go play with whatever we feel like at, at that night. So you have to come to every show to see all the songs, basically. And Brian, what do you think? What do you say? It's fun. It's yeah. it, it, it's been fun for me <laughs> because, I mean, I, I know I'm a long winded. I'm very long winded. So I apologize for that. But it, it's been it's been a kind of a, kind of a blessing to me to be able to do this. To, to to go up there and do the songs with the guys again uh, because it meant so much to me the first time. But when you're doing as many shows as we did week in and week out, man, sometimes the, the, the road wears on you and stuff and, and you lose grasp of certain things and kind of having a, a second chance for me personally, kind of having a second chance of getting up on stage with these guys again and doing songs from, from like Dave's era and doing stuff from, from our era together and stuff um, that meant so much to me and to be a part of originally, but to now be whatever it is, 12 years later and to, to get, be given the opportunity to, to do that and to be a part of what drowning pool is again, has been just a, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Um, you, I'm, it's kind of like I've been able to rekindle that gratefulness that I had originally. And so it, it's been, it's been a great thing, but to, more to your point, just it's very cool, but it's also very, it, because the band has such an amazing catalog. If you really look at it over the years, cause they've, they got Dave's era and they, I call it day. I'm only separating this in, 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 in singer errors because at the end of the day, yeah. these errors are, these errors are CJ, Stevie and Mike errors just as much but to make it simple for us to kind of to discuss what we're talking about here. You know, you got the different errors. If you want to break it down to what singers were, were, right. we were, had the opportunity to, to, to yell with these guys at the time. Um, there's different there's different eras in there that that I know there's there's certain fans of each one of those you know there's going to be some fans out there that 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 was more of a fan of this this time frame and more of that time frame and stuff and so I'm I'm always conscious about wanting to try to put in because that that's all drowning pool that's all Stevie Mike and CJ so I mean that's that that's all drowning pool and and fans of those ba of of the band throughout the years all deserve to hear those favorite songs so it is tough to juggle those set lists some nights and to try to think of what songs from what from what time do we want to do we want to work on and we want to play with and it's fun though it, it is fun because uh dude, we 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 could do like a, I, I don't want to ever find out but we could do like a two hour set of just singles yeah. and, and and movie themes or movie tracks and tv tv songs and and wrestling <laughs> tracks and i mean we could do we could do a two hour set of, of music that people know in drowning pool you know a lot of times people be like what band you you know oh it's drowning pools the body's band but then some of our biggest singles have been you know 37 stitches and then turn so cold and and feel like i do and then you've got you've got a saturday night and and uh one finger and a fist and you've got friggin step up and you just yeah it's, just, it's yeah the you've got the theme song for i forget right rise rise up or whatever it was the yeah we got rise up for, too that we did yeah. smackdowns Rise Up's killer. Yeah, yeah you know, I was talking about that. that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's cool to be a yeah, part a of it. Of and it it's really know? hard to incorporate everything, but it's fun to try. <laughs> Go ahead, CJ. Sorry, what are you saying, buddy? Oh, yeah, no, we slowly, like Ryan was saying, like, and thank you, Ryan, for doing this. Like, you know, there's, there's other songs we haven't got to yet that we have a list of stuff. Like I said, the constantly rotate and keep it fresh. We want to accommodate, you know, all of our fans and from different, like you said, eras and stuff. Um, but, yeah, Ryan's been doing that, man. We have a couple of other songs. Like, you know, you mentioned, I don't know if you brought up Love and War yet, but that one's really great. And we may get down to like one finger and a fist because people do yell that one out that did get a lot of um, play and, and, and attraction. It's a fun song. 
to do as well. So it's, it's uh, you know, we try to cover all the gambit. And at the end of the, you know, the year, Ryan will know every song on every record and we can just play for seven hours. That sounds like a horrible <laughs> idea. <laughs> you know, that, actually, now that I said that, it sounds horrible. <laughs> I'll shut up. <laughs> Awesome. You guys are the best, man. And this is cool, dude. You know what? I, I got both of you. Thank you both so much for your time, man. And I uh, can't wait to see you out there on the road. Yeah, brother. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Take care. All yeah, the best, yeah. guys. Definitely appreciate your time, man. Thank you. There they are. And that is CJ Pearson, Ryan McCombs from Drowning Pool. And uh, great to have them here on the show this week. And yeah, man, catch them out there on the road. They're going to be out there for a while. New music as well on the way. And again, going to remind you, check out LoadedRadio.com, okay, for all your hard rock and metal news as well. Tons of great cool stuff like Top 13 lists. And as well, the live 24-hour radio station streaming 24-7 worldwide with live DJs and tons of hard rock and metal as well more episodes past episodes of this very podcast okay and you can download the free yeah i said free loader radio app okay that's it for me i'm gonna get out of here i'll talk to you again next week right here on an all-new edition of the loader radio podcast i'm scott penfold for loaded radio 